Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Cave with Big Kev. Thank you very much for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to go over the K25 Albinox Fixed Blade Bushcrafting Knife or Tactical Knife. So let's get into it. All right, so Les from Bloodbane Industries sent me a whole bunch of knives that he uh, would like a review on. Um, and this was one of them. So I like this one so much that I acquired it. And we're gonna show you what this thing is like. So let's get into, first of all, the sheath. So we've just got a nylon sheath here. It's quite robust, it's a nice sheath. Uh, it's got the rope here for multiple mounting options as well. Uh, it's also got a strap here with a snap lock with a bit of molly there so that you can have more mounting options if you've got yourself a little pouch that uh, you've got a sharpening stone in or something you can you can put that in there and essentially carry your sharpening gear with you as well which is really good so they can snap just in there or you, you could even use that as a belt mount as well going on to the snap lock here it's got an easy access snap lock in that it's got a little bit of plastic that's riveted on here as well and that just protrudes out so you've just got uh, an easier way to open up that sheath to extract the, the blade uh, the inside has an insert there to protect the nylon it has the k25 brand embroidered on the front there on the back you can see the rope has been threaded through here with a toggle so like I said multiple mounting options there it's also got some molly attachment points across here as well it's got three and it's also got a double snap and velcro stop for your belt loop and the snaps are quite good actually they're nice and uh, nice and stiff which I really like so that's the sheath Now let's get into the meat and potatoes with the blade. So with the Albinox stuff, it, some of the knives don't have names like you would typically get with a knife. So it makes it a little bit hard to uh, differentiate between what they are. So I'll just go off the product code that I've got here, which is a 32163 fixed blade tactical knife. And let's go over some specs. So we have a fixed blade full tang. So that goes all the way down to the back there. It's got uh, nice features on here like jimping. Nice jimping on the handle there. And also the scales themselves have a really aggressive pattern on there as well. So a really good grip. Uh, it has a synthetic fiber laminate coating on those scales and it feels sort of rubbery and I really like it because you can really get a good grip on that knife and it's going to be quite hard to, to lose that out of your hand. So I really like that coating. It's not, uh, it's not sticky, it's not spongy, it's just a really nice rubbery feel. Uh, so I really like it it's got a lanyard hole up the back here which is really good if you're going to be doing some hacking with it the blade the blade length is 14 centimeters and the overall length is 26.7 it's 5 mil thick and it's got some jimping on top of the uh, the blade here as well which I really like just so that you can get in there and do some nice fine work it's got some bloodlines here as well which I really like just on the one side just a little bit of aesthetics make it uh, visually pleasing and a nice drop point on here as well so going into the quality of the steel it's uh, it says here it's a 7 CR 17 MOV now I've got an app on my phone that um, 
brings up steals and whatnot, and I'm not real privy on what steals can do what or anything like that. But um, it's nice and handy to have because I'll put a picture up right now, so you can see those different levels of what's in there for the people that know what all that stuff is about. That's something I'm yet to learn about. The blade is also titanium coated and I really like that feature because it's really going to aid with the rust prevention on this blade, it's just not going to rust. So that's another really good reason why I wanted this knife. Out of the box, it doesn't have a fantastic edge on it at all, so I don't really mind, that means I can just chuck it on the Lansky, that means I get practice on that as well. So I am going to chuck this on the Lansky and sharpen it up till I can uh, get some good slices off this paper. And because this one's mine, I'm going to give it a good bash. I'm going to go out and test it. And the blade also has a hollow grind as well. So there you have it guys, that's the K25 fixed blade tactical fold, um, tactical fixed blade. Uh, from Albinox via Bloodvein Industries. Go and check out bloodveinindustries.com.au and also check him out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Uh, Liz is a good bloke and uh, I'm sure he's going to be willing to look after you. So just tell him the Man Cave sent you. So plenty more of these knife reviews to come from uh, Bloodvein Industries. Thank you very much Liz for sending me out some really cool knives and uh, i'll see you on the next video don't forget to check me out on facebook and instagram as well ladies and gentlemen hit the subscribe button like and share it with your friends so until the next video see you later